Hi everyone, it's Friday afternoon here, 1.30. Uh, for those of you following along in the news, you've seen that some new COVID requirements came out just, just a few moments ago. And, uh, and I wanted to pass that on uh, as quickly as I could because it affects us as a church uh, moving forward, it affects Sunday's service. Now, technically the requirements come into effect sometime tomorrow, uh, but this does affect Sunday's service and, and we're not sure how long for, but I wanted to pass this on. But before I deal with the specifics of what we're, Sunday morning is gonna look like, I wanna remind us of something that we read early on in this, so like 18 months ago. This is from 1 Peter chapter 2, 13 to 15. It says, be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to the governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good, you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. And so we see right in there, we're called to submit uh, to our government. And we said right from the beginning here, that as long as our government didn't ask us to do something that went against uh, scripture, something that, that made us compromise our convictions of our faith and our trust in Jesus, then, then we were going to submit to them. And so that's what we're calling uh, for again. Uh, it says it right here. Why do we submit? For the Lord's sake, because this honors him. And then why else? Well, verse 15, it says that by doing good, you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. We want to be people that unite together. We want to be people that, that show our community, look, we follow God. That's what we will do. And God has called us to submit to our government. And if our government has asked us to do some of these things, uh, we're going to do them because God has instituted them. And for his sake, we're going to be obedient to that. And so that's the reminder, right? Like when I, when I saw the announcement, right, I wasn't, I wasn't encouraged by it. I was disappointed, right? I, so much better to see everyone's face, especially when you're preaching, right? To see people interacting with you and, uh, and so I wasn't really happy or excited, but then I was kind of convicted and, and reminded. We had Bible study last night. We talked about the same kind of a uh, principle is that if, if I say, yeah, I'm going to submit, but then I'm going to complain and be belligerent about it, I'm not really submitting. Now, we can still disagree. We can do that respectfully. We've talked a lot about that over the months, um, but I just want to remind you again that there's, there's a reason why we're doing this. There's a reason why on Sunday morning, when you show up, there'll be some signs up that remind you that you need to wear masks. We're going to have some uh, for those who haven't come prepared, uh, those who might be visiting. Um, but we're, we're going to submit to our government in this. We're still going to praise the name of Jesus. We're still going to sing praises to him. We're still going to open scripture. We're still going to pray. We're still going to learn God's word. Uh, and, and so the only thing that's really changed is, is a little bit of our preferences as to how we do that. And so uh, when you come m Sunday morning, uh, do bring your mask. Uh, again, if you don't have one, we'll, we'll be sure to provide some for you. Uh, but we'll try, uh, sorry, but if you can try and bring your own, that would certainly help that. Um, this fellowship hall area is set up a little bit more spaced apart. So if you're a, a little bit more nervous uh, about that and you want to have some spatial uh, awareness around you and stuff, there's, there's space for you. There's a, there's a dedicated space for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, for those of you who are, are not concerned about social distancing, the sanctuary is set up the way it has been the last couple of uh, months now. And, and so there's space for you as well. Uh, we want to worship together. We want to be united together, regardless of, of where on the spectrum we are at in this whole COVID situation. Um, and, and all we're being asked to do is wear a mask. So that is what we are reminding you of. So please take note of that. I'm going to send an email out right away here with the link to this video. We're going to put it on social media as quickly as we can. Uh, and, and please do pass the word. Remember, no one's telling you you can't come worship Jesus on Sunday. No one is telling you that. Uh, we're telling you the opposite. Do come worship Jesus. Do come praise his name. Do come and learn from his word and let him challenge your heart, your faith, so that we might mature and that we might grow up into the men and women that God has created us to be. So looking forward to seeing you still Sunday morning, 1030. Uh, have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.